Hello again, this is a seventh month update of the Fake Chinese Speed Cross 3s. Um, if you haven't seen that video, watch it now. Otherwise, basically, I can't recommend them. Uh, the long and the short of it is the quality is not what I was hoping for, and they actually hurt me by the end of wearing them. So, to give you some context, these have been my daily driver shoes for seven months. I've worn them through a Canadian winter, uh, Las Vegas in the summer, uh, Mexican sandy beaches, mountains, rivers, streams, sidewalks, like you name it, these shoes have been through it. Um, so admittedly, you know, I'm not gentle on shoes, but at the same time, if you're going to be buying good stuff, you want it to last. I wore these for two years through that same stuff. So um, physically, the shoe didn't hold up terribly well. You can see on the bottom, so this is two years of wear, and it's, it's quite smooth. You know, I've worn down the, the studs. And these, I'm wearing them down already. Not quite as badly, but still, you know, seven months. These wouldn't make it another year and a half that way. Other issues, you know, wear and tear kind of on the, the seams and things. This shoelace grommet or buckle or whatever uh, ripped, so now the shoelace is just kind of hanging free. Um, obviously, they're dirty and stuff. That's fine. Like, that's regular mud and wear. Um, kind of cracks underneath where the, the sole is seamed. But I can abide all of that. The biggest issue for me is that the foam in the sole itself, the stuff in between your foot and the ground, is not very good. Uh, both the actual shoe itself and they have these insoles. So this is the Chinese insole. It's a very flat, boring, plain foam. And this is the actual real ortholite insole, which has like this kind of gel at the front, a, a stiffer back, you know, so you can distribute the weight. You've got this wicking, sweat, breathing material at the top. Uh, it's a much better insole. And then you put that insole in a better shoe with like a nicer foam for the actual sole. And you've got a much more, not only comfortable, but actually like ergonomically correct shoe. Um, at the end of this, like the reason I'm, I'm getting rid of these shoes is because they actually physically hurt my back and started like adding joint pain and stuff to my body, uh, which shouldn't happen. Like you, your shoes shouldn't do that to you. I actually started wearing these ones again, of all things. And after two years, I pulled them out of the closet and they're almost a better shoe than this. So there you go. I went and bought out some Speedcross 4s, but we won't talk about that. So in summation, I was hoping that they'd be physical copies sold for a cheaper price. It seems like they are just knockoffs built in a different factory out of different materials. And at worst, they won't last. They might be worth one third the price, but you know, if you're replacing them three times as often and they're hurting you the entire way, it's not worth it. As much as I like a good deal, I'm, I'm still buying genuine shoes for now.